Hey guys, this is Izam and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I will be using Affinity Designer and I'm going to use the watercolor brush. I'm not going to use the vector brush, I'm going to use the pixel brush. So I am going to mimic the Sumi A style of painting. I am going to paint the cat. If you have Affinity Designer, you can follow me through. If you don't have, you might consider getting it for your iPad or iPad Pro. I'm using the iPad Pro, you can be using any kinds of iPad as long as you can run Affinity Designer. So without further ado, let's start. Let's begin with Affinity Designer. And we're gonna have a new canvas, maybe not this size. Let's make a new canvas, a new document. I'm gonna change this to the print press ready. Change the size to A2 because I'm gonna print it later on. To a very big size so here we can see this right I again I'm gonna change this to the pixel persona set your brush tool ready I'm gonna change my brush to the watercolor brush and the one that I'm gonna use is the dance wash all right and here are my settings let's test how is it like okay good so today we are going to paint this cat. I'm, going, I'm just going to place this cat. Let's place the image from photograph. So this is the cat. Okay, which I've done much earlier. We're going to base our painting on this particular shape. Let's take a look at this cat. Okay. The particular movement of the brush shall be this way. So you see this cat has a straight edge, somewhat of a straight edge here, but there is some bulging here. One, two. Actually, there's some bulge here. One, tiny bulge. Two, three. And here is the leg. Okay? So we're going to paint with just one stroke. Let's have another layer. Oh, we already have a pixel layer. Okay, so we have a pixel layer here. And let's draw on that pixel layer. Get your paintbrush. And the size is 4 to 7. Let's see. Okay, make sure you set the color to black. And we are ready. So I'm going to paint. Starting on the ears. Okay, like that. Like that. You know the letter K? Yes. Notice that I'm not raising up my pen at all. Okay. The nose here. Okay, now the neck of the cat. The body, remember, is straight down like that. Then a little bulge here for the leg. Now color it in. Now we're going to have the second bulge over here the third bulge over here and finish off like that all right that is done so now let's just color it in again okay just like that control your pressure okay now i'm pressing hard just color it in And here, that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to just decrease the size to about 250 and then just like that, smoothen it out. Okay, oh, I accidentally changed the color, set it back to black. And now I'm painting the whiskers, just very slight. Oh, this is too much. Okay, just like that. If it's too thick, I think it is too thick, so I'm going to make the brush size smaller and just like that. Okay, and now making the brush size bigger a little bit, I'm going to add some more stroke here on the ears, make it a bigger ear and the head make it a defined head 
Okay, the body, the side of the body here. Don't make it too flat, okay? But just know that it has a straight edge like that. So that is done. Now let's draw the tail. So set it back to about 300. Okay, the brush size. And just press and release. And have another one. Press and reduce your pressure. And that's it. All right, we are done for that. So now let's do uh, the, the ground. All right, for the ground, you might want to have, have it on a new layer. Just tap here and press pixel layer. So now we're going to change the opacity to about 70 and then the flow to about 50 and the hardness maybe a little bit, maybe about 50. Okay, let's test it out. I'm just going to do that. Just like that. Okay. Or you could have it a little less opaque. Maybe about 50. I'm going to set all this to 50. Okay, 50. Hardness is to 50. With maybe 300. And light pressure. What was that? Oh! I accidentally changed it to eraser. Okay, so now just slight. Again, slight pressure. Like that. Okay, and starting from here, slight pressure. Like that. And that's it. That's the cat. Once you're done, you can go ahead and sign your name. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed looking at your new cat on your iPad. So if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and do consider to subscribe because I do have more videos coming up and you will get notifications whenever I put out new videos on my channel. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.